Eggermag 671T, 672T, and 674T models are isolated two-wire transmitters for process current input signals. The 671T is a single channel module. The 672T offers dual I.O. channels, and the 674T has four channels of isolated I.O. Process current inputs are 4 to 20 milliamp DC analog signals. Power is derived from the input signal loop for these isolated transmitters. Process current outputs are also 4 to 20 milliamp DC analog signals. The input burden voltage drop is a function of the input current and the load resistance. In the event of an open output circuit, the input loop voltage drop is limited below 20 volts DC. The 672T provides two 4 to 20 milliamp DC process current channels in one unit, and the 674T offers four 4 to 20 milliamp DC independent channels in a single unit. Each channel operates independently and is isolated from the other to prevent interaction between channels. The dual and quad independent channel feature can also save space and reduce costs for panel builders. The small one inch wide DIN rail footprint and the air holes in the enclosure give the ability to mount modules right next to each other, ensuring minimal panel real estate, helping to reduce panel size and installation time, thereby reducing costs. This also aids in smaller on-site enclosure installations where mounting space is at a premium. Also, the unused channels fill spare channel requirements, which can be used at a later date. Each channel includes a fault LED indicator. This will indicate upon open or failed output loops. Also, since the 670 series of isolated transmitters are exclusively 4 to 20 milliamp in and 4 to 20 milliamp out devices, traditional zero and span adjustments are not required. However, a single fine-tuned potentiometer is provided per channel to ensure optimal accuracy, which is typically better than plus or minus 0.1% of full scale. The 671T, 672T, and 674T are all designed to operate in harsh industrial environments. These modules realize low temperature drift and wide ambient temperature operation of minus 25 to 85 degrees C. They include RFI, EMI, ESD, and EFT protection. And the modules are designed to meet the stringent approvals of being CE marked and UL and CUL listed for Class 1, Div 2, groups A, B, C, and D hazardous locations. Lastly, these modules also include quick release terminal blocks for easy installation. The 670T series isolator offers three different channel configurations of 4 to 20 milliamp signal isolation. These are single, dual, or four channel configurations. This isolator offers galvanic isolation from input to output, as well as channel to channel in the multi-channel configurations of continuous common mode voltages of 250 volts AC or 354 volts DC. This galvanic isolation eliminates potential ground loops that may exist between two or more instruments and increases noise immunity for better accuracy of transmitted signals. Transient voltage suppression protects equipment from high voltage surges and spikes. The 670 series loop powered isolators fit applications where isolation is required, but there is no power source on the output loop. The power to drive the output loop is derived from the input current to the isolator. This will source current to the passive output load. This type of two-wire isolator induces a burden on the input loop equal to the output load at full scale, as well as the load of the module itself. For each channel of the 670T series isolator, this burden is equal to 4.9 volts DC plus 20.12 milliamps times the load resistance. For example, a load with a 250 ohm resistance will induce a voltage drop of 10.2 volts DC across the input terminals of the 670T series isolator. The sum of all the input loop voltage burdens at full load must remain below the loop power supply capability to work. Certain monitoring applications require tapping off an existing 4 to 20 milliamp DC loop to add a monitoring or control device. This monitoring or control device is a purely resistive load and does not supply power to drive an input signal. Without the addition of another power supply, the 670T series isolators can be used to tap off the input loop and source an isolated analog signal to the additional monitoring or control device. 
Another application results from the multi-channel capability of the 674T isolator. The 674T can provide isolation between the analog outputs on a multi-channel analog output card on a controller to their respective field devices. The 674T provides the isolation while the analog output card drives the current loops, eliminating the need for additional power supplies. This results in an efficient and low-cost solution for multi-channel isolation. Here we show electrical hookups based on DC current applications. First, we have a two-wire transmitter field device. It involves the use of a DC power supply to power the field transmitter and the input loop. Going around the loop and starting with the positive terminal of the two-wire transmitter, wire to the positive side of the DC power supply. From the negative side of the power supply, wire to the in-minus terminal of the 670T isolator. The negative connection on the two-wire transmitter simply ties in with the in-plus terminal. On the output side, the power is derived from the input loop, so no additional power supply is required. Connections are simply the out-plus terminal to the positive load connection and the out-minus terminal to the negative load connection. The next DC current monitoring application is typical of a flare wire device. The loop is powered from the field device and no external power supply is required in the loop. For this application, the connections are simply field device positive to the in-plus terminal and field device negative to the in-minus terminal. The output connections are simply the same as that shown in the two-wire transmitter connection. Again, be sure the input power is sufficient to provide for the total burden induced by the 670T module and the output load at full scale current. If you notice, the 670T also has an SMS or sense terminal. This is not a terminal to tie in the shield from the twisted shielded pair cable. A voltage meter can be connected to this sense terminal and the output plus terminal of the 670T module. Internal to the 670T isolator is a 10 ohm precision resistor that will convert the 4 to 20 milliamp DC output signal to a 40 to 200 millivolt signal. By placing the voltage meter on these two terminals, the 40 to 200 millivolt signal, identical to the 4 to 20 milliamp DC signal, can be monitored without disturbing the output loop. For more information on electrical wiring or applications, you can download operator manual information from Acromag's website or contact the factory for assistance. Thank you.